from the Bible of Laban and Jacob, and then we will discuss it together, all right? Good. Now Laban had two daughters, Leah and the beautiful Rachel, and Jacob loved the young Rachel. So he asked Laban for her hand, and Laban agreed if Jacob would work for him for seven years. Was Laban a mean man? He was an employer. Now after Jacob worked seven years, do you know what happened? Laban fooled Jacob and gave him his ugly daughter Leah. So to marry Rachel, Jacob was forced to work another seven years. You see, children, the Bible clearly teaches us you must never trust an employer. Do you understand? Yes, Perjic. Yes, Good. Perjic. Now there's another lesson that Papa, goes... Papa, is it up yet? No, Mama. Then enough lessons. We'll have to do Papa's work today. How long can he sleep? He staggered home last night and fell into bed like a dead man. I couldn't get a word out of him. Put that away and clean the barn. Call me when Papa gets up. That was a very interesting lesson, Herchik. Do you think so? Although I don't know if the rabbi would agree with your interpretation. And neither, I suppose, would the rabbi's son. My little sisters have big tongues. And what do you know about him except that he's the rabbi's son? Would you be interested in him if he were the Schumann's son or the Tinsmith's son? At least I know this. He does not have any strange ideas about turning the world upside down. Oh, certainly. Any new idea would be strange to you. Remember, the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he was not talking to you personally. <laughs> you have spirit. Even a little intelligence, perhaps. Thank you. But what good is your brain without curiosity? It is a rusty tool. Good day, Donald. We have an old custom here. A boy acts respectfully to a girl. But of course, that is too traditional for an advanced thinker like you. Our traditions, nothing must change. Everything is perfect, exactly the way it is. We like our ways. Our ways are changing all over, but here, here, men and women must keep apart. Men study, women in the kitchen, boys and girls must not touch, should not even look at each other. I am looking at you. And you are very grave. Do you know that in the city, boys and girls can be affectionate without permission of a matchmaker? They hold hands together. They even dance together. New dances. Like this. No reason to 
to marry. Money is this world's curse. Then may God smite me down with it and may I never recover. <laughs> Saito knows I only mean her well-being. Am I right, Saito? Yes, Papa. You see? I see. I see very well. And what about you, my child? Why are you so silent? Aren't you happy with this blessing? Papa, I... What is it? Tell me, what is it? Papa, I don't want to marry him. I can't marry him, I can't. And what do you mean you can't? If I say you will, you will. Papa, if it's a matter of money, I will do anything. I will hire myself out as a servant. I will dig digits. I will hug hugs. Only don't make me marry him. But what's Papa. wrong with Blazer? He likes you. Papa, I will be unhappy with this. <laughs> but we made an agreement, and with us an agreement is an agreement. Papa, is that more important than I am? Papa, please don't force me. I will be unhappy all my days. All right. I won't force you. Oh, thank you, Papa. It seems that it was not ordained that you should have all the comforts of life, or that I should have a little bit of joy in my old age after all my hard work. Tabia, may I speak with you? Not now, not till later. Tabia, I would like to speak with you. I have problems, not till later. That is what I would like to speak about. I think I can help. Boy, like a bandage can help a corpse. Goodbye, Mark. What are you supposed to do, Papa? All right, you have a tongue. Talk. I hear you are arranging a match for Saito. He also has ears. I have a match for Saito. What kind of a match? A perfect fit. A perfect fit? Like a glove. Like a glove. This match was made exactly to measure. Made to measure? A perfect fit? Stop talking like a tailor and tell me who it is! You don't shout at me, right, All right? All right? Who is it? 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 me! Myself. Him? Himself? Either you're out of your mind or you're completely crazy! You must be crazy. Arranging a match for yourself? What are you, the bridegroom, the matchmaker, the just so rolled up into one? I suppose you shall even perform the ceremony. You must be crazy! Don't shout at me, Red Tavia. As for being my own matchmaker, I know it is a little unusual. Unusual? No, 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 it's crazy! Times are changing, Red Tavia. The thing is, your daughter Zaito and I gave each other our pledge over a year ago that we would be married. You gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa. They gave each other a pledge. They gave each other a pledge? Unheard of. Absurd. They gave each other a pledge. Unthinkable. And where do they think they are? In Moscow? In Paris? And where do you think you are? America? And what do you think you're doing? You stitcher! You nothing! And who do you think you are? King Solomon? This isn't the way it's done, not here, not now. Do I have something to say about my daughter? Or doesn't anybody here to ask their father anymore? I have been meaning to ask for some time, Reptavia. But first I want to save up enough for my own sewing machine. Stop talking nonsense! You are just the poor tailor! That's true, Reptavia. But even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. I promise you, Reptavia, your daughter will not starve. He's beginning to talk like a man. I'll never hear what kind of match would that be with a poor tailor. Well, on the other hand, he is an honest and hard worker. Yeah, on the other hand, he has absolutely nothing. On the other hand, things cannot get much worse for him. They can only get better. <laughs> they gave each other a pledge. Unheard of. Absurd. 
the gave each other a pledge unthinkable. But look at my daughter's face. She loves him, she wants him. And look at my daughter's eyes, so hopeful. Very well, children. When shall we make the wedding? Oh, thank you, Papa. Rotemi, you won't be sorry. I won't be sorry. I'm already sorry. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. The pleasure through mother and children. What am I going to tell Golda? What am I going to do about Golda? Oh, help. Oh, Mother, you are wonderful. It was a miracle. It was a miracle. By the side and a miracle of miracles Walked him through the lion's den Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles